Ladies and gentlemen, hello, it's Joanne Lavelle here and I'm here to bring you through a virtual viewing of a very, very fine house here in Rathmant in Black Rock in County Nav. So um, Rathmant is a very popular little neighbourhood uh, because it's so close to the village of Black Rock and also because it's got a really nice community feel to it. So I'm here surrounded by, it's all semi-detached and detached houses. Um, as I say, it's the walking distance of the park, of the village, it's easy to get into town and if you need to go further afield it's handy to get onto the motorway um, but it really is one of those developments which is consistently considered to be simply a lovely place to live. The property that I am very pleased and very proud to be bringing to the market is this wonderful four bedroom semi detached house. It's a very spacious property. It is and it is basically ready to go. I do expect there to be a lot of interest in this property. So uh, we're going to go on inside now and have a little look around and um, I'll, show, I'll point out as we go along some of the important features. I suppose the first thing to say is that the, there's great landscaping and gardening done in this property. Um, you can see there beautiful um, shrubbery, lovely colour and interest. And now we're straight into the hallway. Now the hallway, lovely bright, uh, welcoming space. Um, it's got reception rooms to the right and to the left. But before that, in to my immediate left, is a closet. So always very useful. Get the cloaks and boots and things put away at the hallway. So it's a beautiful, um, how would we describe it? It looks like a beach, um, um, sort of a semi-solid wooden floor. Looks very durable and hard wearing and is in excellent shape. Okay, then in here to the right is the first reception room. Now you can see it's a dining room, but of course, as I'm always pointing out, where you have a work from home requirement, this house is absolutely ideal because this would also make a great office. Or if you have a family of a size that you might maybe want to have a teen room or a playroom, uh, the second reception room is absolutely crucial. Um, but this is a lovely space, as I say, it's, um, it's, it's a dining room as it's laid out here and it takes that kind of furniture, that amount of furniture very well. So that's your first reception room. And you can see what I mean by good condition. The house is in super shape. Now, going across the hallway, I'm in to the main living room. So you can see there, beautiful um, marble fireplace with cast iron inset. Um, that has a gas pipe there, but the gas fire simply wasn't installed in it. So that's very easy to do because the provision for it is already there. Um, in this instance, uh, the recesses have been um, furnished with uh, freestanding cabinetry. It just goes to show you just the amount of space that is there. They're good wide um, recesses. Okay. The other thing to point out from when you're inside the house is I always say to people, when you're inside, look out. And you can see there, because there's a, this is a little cul-de-sac part of Rathmant, and because uh, you're at it, tucked away in the corner of it, the back corner of it, um, there's no house immediately opposite you, which is really important from the perspective of not only your light, but also your privacy within the house. So the same flooring as was in the hallway is in this space, as well as in the other reception room, okay? And sure, whilst we're here, we'll go on through these lovely uh, French double doors which are glazed, and I should also point out about that means that the light is able to come all the way back in through the house. We're into the kitchen diner. Lovely space and a really, really nice kitchen. I will take a closer look at it in a minute. First off, the tiled floor. Lovely, neutral, quality tiling there. A great condition. Look at that. Lovely. And you have your sliding door through to the back garden. Very important. Now the kitchen. So it's it, it's like a walnut effect. Um, it's got a lot there. So you see there are plenty of drawers and deep drawers there. It's got a lovely sort of double recess um, uh, joinery there. Uh, sort of a, a more intricate take on the shaker style kitchen, which is really nice. This is an integrated dishwasher. Okay. And you have there integrated oven with an electric hob overhead and above that stainless steel extractor. Um, it's gas central heating in this house, folks, and the gas appliance is in the utility room. I also want to show you in behind this door. Here is integrated fridge freezer. Okay, so straight away you can see the, the kitchen is completely self-contained. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to bring you through here, which is through to the utility room. All right, very cleverly um, fitted cabinets there because in a utility room, you can never, ever, ever have too much storage space. So that's very well appointed space there. It's actually a really big utility, which is great. You have space there for your appliances and your sink. And then here is your gas boiler. Okay. And then you also have the back door through there. But before we go there, I want to show you here, downstairs uh, toilet wash and basin, but a very spacious guest WC, which is really nice. Okay. Also, very cleverly, the same tile floor in the utility as in the kitchen. And I love to see that because, um, you know, your utility is just as important as your kitchen, really. You're going to be using it as much. It's going to have the same amount of traffic as your kitchen. So I always like to see a utility room that's well appointed. Let's have a look outside in the back garden. That's a really, really nice back garden. Really mature planting. There's a slight breeze today and you can just enjoy the sound of the breeze through the red robin there. A couple of beautiful red robin mature trees there. And then to, to the back and to the right, some lovely um, bamboo in different colors as well throughout this garden. Now I must tell you, although there's plenty of garden in it, it um, has a look of fairly low maintenance. Okay, so you know, you, a tidy up once or twice a year is going to deal with as much as you need to do there. And because these are nice and mature, it gives you nice privacy as well. Okay, so it's now, what time is it now? It's now half past 10 and the sun is there. So the sun is going to be, um, a lot of the afternoon, the sun is going to be in the, uh, in the back garden. That's the back of the house, clean as a whistle. nice and quiet. So we're back inside and now we're going to go back out through uh, the hallway and upstairs to look at the sleeping accommodation. Okay there's a nice just little um, underneath the stairs storage. Some people get, um, get a lot of use out of their under stairs space with storage or with a little desk space and um, so it's good to always see that it's there um, and that it can be utilized. So the stairs and landing uh, carpeted. Okay, we're going to go on up now and see what we can find. So into the right is the first bedroom. All of the bedrooms are double rooms, okay? Now you can see there, and this is quite a big bedroom suite and there's still plenty of space. That's a lovely big room. But the thing that I want to show you is this, that full wall has built-in uh, wardrobes, which is really great. There's lots of storage, even from the utility room that we saw a moment ago, up to throughout most of the bedrooms, there's great storage in this house. That's just looking out from the front, from the bedroom to the front of the house. So that's bedroom number one. Now, next is through to the main bathroom. Main bathroom fully tiled, okay? and really nicely tiled, I should add. Separate bath to shower, okay. Really nice sanitary wear. Really clean, fresh bathroom. There's the shower there. Wow, I wish, I wish uh, my shower was this presentable, it's lovely. That's a quadrant shower. Okay, and then that closes over there. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to go through to the next room. Again, double room. Lovely fresh room, this. Okay, and again here, more built-in wardrobes. It's just looking down onto the back garden where we've just been. Okay, so that's the second, the second bedroom. This then is just to show you the little hot press. Most importantly to show you, there's the um, a cylinder, the water cylinder. Okay. Next bedroom, again, third bedroom, double room, and a good spacious double room as well. Okay. Uh, we'll just fix the light there. 
and again fitted wardrobes so you know no need for wardrobes for freestanding uh, storage in these bedrooms at all another room that is just in immaculate condition very fresh and um, really to be honest with you moving into this house there would be virtually no work to do barring uh, you know putting your own stamp or your own preferences on it but certainly no no works needed as they say uh, the bedrooms have all got a sort of semi-solid uh, clip flooring, uh, nice low maintenance, easy to live with and also easy to decorate around if you wanted to make changes. This is the fourth bedroom, I think it's lovely. Now don't be put off because this is a, has a single bed in it but it is a double room, okay, you'll definitely be able to accommodate um, a double bed in here, okay. Look at that, isn't it just lovely and again so such good condition. Now, that whirring sand is just the extractor in the bathroom. So to recap on the accommodation, just to recap on where we are. So we have two reception rooms, four double bedrooms, kitchen, diner, utility room, um, guest toilet and bathroom upstairs. Great condition throughout and uh, beautiful gardens with very mature planting front and back. All street parking, uh, you could certainly fit two cars there. Uh, well, we're just getting the BER done at the moment, so I expect you to have a good enough BER. Um, and what else can I tell you? Lovely living in Rathmant. If this is the if this is the neighbourhood that you've been waiting for, and if you're looking for a full bedroom house, then you definitely need to give me a call. You need to give me a call quickly because um, we're going to get a lot of interest in this property. Uh, so, folks, uh, I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Um, if I can answer any questions. Um, I'd be delighted to do so. Also, just to let you know that we're able to do appointments on properties. Uh, we're able to do viewings by appointment uh, from May the 10th under the new restriction, uh, uh, lower restrictions. So um, give us a call so that we can get you in on an appointment. Uh, of course, we'll still be doing our viewings by, um, you know, suitable restrictions, social distancing, spreading out of parties and masks and so on. So um, we'll, you know, we'll be looking after you in that way. Um, other than that, Perhaps I will see you at this property very soon. All the best.